Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the design office, Luna was anxious to give RJ something. It was a framed picture she'd taken of Eric and RJ working together. She hoped it wasn't inappropriate. She said she hadn't realized at the time how special the photo would be. The photo seemed to be of the first time RJ had drawn with Eric. RJ said she always knew exactly what he needed. Luna offered to make Eric a framed copy. RJ said it would be perfect. They talked about how much fun it had been to work on the collection in Eric's living room. Luna had loved seeing RG rise to the challenge and come through for Eric. RG replied that Eric had helped RG find his calling. RG hadn't felt as if he belonged before, but everything had clicked since he'd met Luna. He didn't think that had been an accident. Luna stammered, wondering if this was okay. RG wondered if she meant their relationship. Luna admitted that all she thought of was him kissing her. Nervous, she said she hadn't had a serious boyfriend, and she'd always been focused on school, figuring that if she waited, the right guy would come along. She uttered that RG was the right guy. Luna decided she was making a fool of herself, but RG said she wasn't. He admitted that she'd taught him how to love someone in a way he hadn't before. He said he loved his family, but this was new to him. He never wanted to lose it. Ditto, she replied, and he laughed. Luna recalled when she'd first met RJ, and she'd sworn she'd lost her breath. The feeling hadn't gone away, and she didn't know what people called it. Actually, I do. I love you, she said, and they kissed. During surgery, Finn and Bridget worked to save Eric as his vitals dropped. Bridget urged Eric to keep going, and she cried out that they couldn't lose her father. Intense music played as Bridget worried about getting the bleeding under control, Another nurse called for extra support. In the waiting area, Ridge was anxious about his decision. He said he'd only been doing what he'd thought Eric would have chosen for himself. Donna and Thorne were adamant that it was because Eric hadn't known about the procedure. Ridge said Eric might never be the same, and if one was willing to do anything, one had to be prepared for anything. Maybe we should have just let him go, Ridge uttered. Steffi tried to assure her father that he'd done the right thing, but Ridge wondered if he'd been too cowardly to give Eric what Eric had asked for. Steffi held faith in her husband and believed Eric would pull through. Donna and Thorne hoped so because they weren't ready to say goodbye. Brooke added that Bridget was with Eric too, and they had to stay positive. Time wore on, and the family grew restless. Thorne saw extra support rushing by and figured that it wasn't a good sign, Ridge snagged a nurse, and she revealed that there was a complication with unexpected bleeding. The nurse rushed off, and Ridge yelled that it was exactly what he didn't want, Eric struggling and fighting on an operating table. Back in the oar, Bridget applied the last clamp, and all was still. Moments passed. Eric's heart monitor beeped, and Finn said Bridget had done it. Bridget thanked Finn for finding the procedure. Now we wait— the rest is up to him, Finn concluded. Finn and Bridget sewed Eric up, and Bridget told Eric that he'd done a great job. Finn warned Bridget not to make any promises. He said Eric had survived surgery, but the recovery might be difficult. Bridget understood and was grateful Eric had his chance. She said they'd see Eric soon, and they had good news to share. Back in the waiting area, Thorne wondered what bleeding complications even meant, but Steffi asserted her faith in Finn. Brooke said Eric would survive. Donna prayed that they got to see Eric again. Finn and Bridget arrived, and the family approached them with concerns about Eric's complications. Finn announced that Bridget had stopped the bleeding, and Eric had survived the surgery. Ridge asked if Eric was no longer in danger. Finn repeated that Eric had survived the procedure, but that from there, it was a waiting game. Bridget stated that all they could do was to send Eric love and light. In recovery, Eric was back on the respirator. He could hear Bridget telling him to stay with them. He saw the surgery lights, and he flashed back on moments at his party. A light appeared, and Stephanie called to Eric. She said she'd missed him, 
and everything would be okay. Everyone's been waiting for you, Stephanie uttered. Eric saw himself dancing with Stephanie. A white light surrounded Eric in the bed. A growing view of the cosmos played. Stephanie cried that she couldn't believe Eric was there. He was home and he was safe.